G'day guys, how are you going? Hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Well, we're seeing some very alarming things going on lately. Um, you know, all of us have probably heard now that there's this uh, sudden adult death syndrome uh, going on, which is, you know, a real concern. Uh, but now it's come out and they've shown us that there's problems with babies and they're calling them the pandemic babies. Now, I personally think that this is absolutely despicable that these things are going on. You know, they're saying that there's no uh, understanding of what's causing these problems and nobody knows what's happening uh, but you know, we, we can pretty well guarantee that uh, most of us have a fairly good idea of exactly what's causing these problems. Now these pandemic babies are having uh, immune system problems they are you know, not able to cope with flus and colds and things like that and they're being admitted into hospital. I'll show you this quick clip and come back to you. A worrying number of babies born during the pandemic is ending up in hospital in intensive care Doctors say infants haven't developed immunity to respiratory viruses and are testing positive for influenza and COVID at the same time. The Children's Hospital at Westmead in Sydney reports 5% of babies with co-infections are being admitted to ICU, with paediatricians describing that as very concerning. So as you can see, there's this you know, real problem. 5% of newborn babies are being admitted into ICU um, that have no real ability to cope with um, viruses. Now, like I said, this is a real shame. Um, obviously people are not going to, you know, the people who are supposed to tell us the truth about these things aren't going to be you know, telling us exactly what's going on and, um, you know, the real reason for these babies suffering like this. Uh, but like I've said to you, you know, it's fairly obvious what has occurred. Now, we've never had these problems before and uh, suddenly now we are. Now, these mothers um, who were right in that area where they were having, uh, you know, the thing that um, was supposed to cure everybody and keep everybody safe, and uh, suddenly there, there's all these babies out there with all of these respiratory problems. Now, I don't think it's going to stop there. I think there's going to be a lot more problems. I think there's uh, the side effects and the long-term effects of um, the last two years on our population across the world uh, is yet to be realised. Um, you know, it seems like every day something new is springing up. Um, in a lot of cases, they're coming out with different things to simply scare people and, you know, create this uh, air of fear to keep going and going. But there is the real things that are, are a worry that have uh, been the result of what's occurred over the last two years. And um, those things don't get a lot of attention paid to them unless they can start telling us that, uh, you know, it's something new. But the situation stands at the moment where we've got people dropping dead all over the place and uh, nobody really wants to pay attention to it in the uh, medical uh, area. Um, but what do we do about it? Well, obviously we can continue to do what we have been doing and that's refused to, to participate in these um, so-called options that we're given. Even though in a lot of cases, I know a lot of you out there who have been coerced into following the mandates and these sorts of things. But um, it, there is hope on the horizon. Um, a lot of people are refusing to do it now, even those uh, people who were previously very pro-compliance um, when it came to this stuff uh, were all very, you know, willing to make sure everybody's life was very hard if they didn't comply. But those same people are now coming around and starting to realise that there's a real problem. Unfortunately, I don't think that uh, we're going to see um, any kind of real turnaround because it's all too late. Um, these things have already been done and uh, we will see many more people suffering, obviously. But I don't put any more value on the life of a baby um, to an old person or anyone else. Everybody's life is uh, of value. Um, it's just the potential of a, a life uh, when it comes to a younger person. Of course, they've got a whole life ahead of them. Um, but I, I really do see that we're going to have more problems. Unfortunately, um, there isn't a great deal we can do about it. Uh, you, you know, you've probably experienced it yourself. You've tried to explain these things to people and show them that the evidence that's being put forward, but uh, they won't have a bar of it and they won't you know, even entertain the idea that they've made the wrong decision in a lot of cases and uh, will fight you on it. And uh, now we are seeing that because we're seeing further problems with res respiratory ailments and things like that, that, uh, you know, there's this push in the background uh, to continue things like masks and uh, all that sort of stuff. 
Now this isn't going away anytime soon, you know, we also saw this whole monkeypox thing come out, um, you know, that was really quite weird as well, um, how they were saying that it's, uh, you know, spreads between men who have sex with each other, which I, I thought that was really very strange, considering it's, it is a contact disease, um, it doesn't matter who you really have sex with, um, if you come in contact with somebody who's got monkeypox, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get it, um, you know, but there's this weirdness all the time. Um, now I don't advocate or support or believe in um, uh, homosexual relationships and all of these sorts of things. It's not that's not part of my life, and I don't agree with it. But I also understand that it's people's choices, freedom of choice, and you can do what you choose to do. And I'm not trying to tell anyone what they should or shouldn't do. Um, I just find it very uh, strange the way that they emphasise this particular group of people in society um, are at high risk. I think it's very strange. I don't understand what's going on behind that uh, particular mechanism, but clearly you know, there's something because they're pushing it, right? But um, there is also this push that they want to um, change the name of monkeypox because apparently it's um, discriminatory or something. I don't know. The monkeys must be complaining or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I definitely find the whole thing very strange. But the point of this video was to explain to you that there is a, a new uh, problem coming out and that is babies. But you do have to remember that uh, back in 2019 if we had have seen 5% of newborn babies being admitted into ICU for any reason uh, there would have been a national outcry and there would have been no end of uh, worry and complaints and all sorts of investigation as to what was going on. Uh, back in those days we saw one child suffer from a um, some sort of illness or something happening at hospital and it would be national news but uh, now as I say we're seeing 5% of babies uh, being admitted to ICU and it's barely a blip on the radar so things really have changed here in Australia and I expect elsewhere in the world uh, when it comes to these kinds of problems uh, they really are ignoring it this depopulation program by the globalists is working and it would seem the only thing that we can do about it is uh, continue to refuse to comply Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks very much for you know subscribing and uh, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And all, all you guys out there who've been donating to my PayPal, that really has been helping me out heaps. I haven't been able to make a great deal of videos lately, you know, due to my health problems myself. Um, but uh, I really am very grateful for all of you guys out there who do participate in my channel. You really make it possible for me to continue to make more videos and you know to continue on what I'm doing to try and uh, bring you the news and uh, my perspective of what's happening. So thanks so much for all of you guys out there. Um, if you weren't out there, I certainly wouldn't have this channel going. And um, you know, it really is encouraging to know that you're out there supporting me along the way. So thanks again so, so much. Uh, I really, truly do appreciate all of your help.